I'm Yitam Motalenghi. I'm a chef, a restaurateur. I write cookbooks and kind of lots of other things, but all around food. I love visiting Australia. There is just so much going on in terms of like the cultural mixes that you find. And all these things coming together make for really, really, really interesting food culture. Wow, that is glorious. <laughs> That's our Algerian chicken paella. Tell me again how you say it in Arabic. Bahia. Bahia. Can I try? It's really nice. <laughs> it's really, really good. I love it. Normally in a day, we would cook about five of these in each of these pans. Each of them would go five times. About five times. Oh my god. Wow. The timing for that has been wow. I would come here for that because it's just so, <laughs> it's so good. I love it. I think you guys do an amazing job. Thank you very much. Representing Algeria. You are a pro. <laughs> Thank you. What drives me is the desire always to try something new, to innovate, to discover new ideas and put them together in a way that is exciting and interesting for other people, but mainly for myself. Yeah, so these are green ants. So they're just raw. These are raw. You haven't done anything to them. Nothing to them. Up and down, we harvest green ants. Um, it gives a citrus sort of flavor, coriander sort of notes. Yeah. And then I was gonna say coriander. Yeah. Yep. It's quite like herby, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. they have. To, is it something that they eat or? Well, average you... people in Darwin or up through the top end uh, use it as tea. So you mash it up and then put a bit of hot water and drink it. Very high in vitamin C. The Italians got their um, their foods here. <laughs> Greeks got their foods here, and it's very strong. You like you walk around Australia, and you think it's it's very multicultural, and you um, but you don't a see a lot of um, no. you know indigenous ingredients. I guess. I mean, people are, want to eat more and more local, right? Got and it. you're in the center of a market where people come to eat locally because it's you're in the center of Adelaide. Hundred percent. Yeah. And look, with average people been harvesting you know native ingredients for sixty thousand years and done it sustainable, um, and you know we're just lucky these ingredients are around today. I love to see the setup of markets because, you know, that's just about like nobody's touched it yet and everything is super fresh and you know you're getting something real. People who sell in fruit and vegetable markets often really care about their produce, about its freshness, about how good it actually is. So you're not only buying, you're also learning from experts and that's the power of the market. Okay, all I can smell is like Parmesan when I walk in. <laughs> I'm gonna sit under the watchful gaze of your mum. Exactly. It sounds like it's really special to be here in the market because you're part of a bigger community, right? It is. It's a beautiful place. It's such a warm place to come. You know, it's got so much um, feeling in here. The city of Adelaide is quite a small city. So people can, the market is right in the centre, so people can come from all over Adelaide. So it's a mix, a mix of people. When Mum started in 57, yeah. there was only seven stalls and a counter. Because, you know, no one knew the food at all. Her neighbour said, what are you cooking, your cheese? And she said pizza, and the neighbor said, Well, I've read about pizza in the American gourmet, but I've never you are actually tasted it. kidding me, so people just haven't heard of pizza. Oh, in 1957. And I think from my traditions, like hummus, everybody yes. buys a tub of hummus these yes. days. Oh, no. They didn't know about it 10 years, 15 years ago, right? I didn't know. <laughs> Everyone has to have some. When it comes to food, all Aussies are foodies. That's kind of a thing that I've learned over time, everyone. So I just feel like I'm at home. People appreciate good food. They know about good food. Everybody knows about a great place around the corner. Uh, so I feel like I learn, but I also just enjoy myself and immerse myself in deliciousness.